Robert Sabuda talks about the movement in your work that makes it's one of your where you really shine in your pop up books. I, well, the choreography. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, it's uh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to do that. The, I would say when I approach a pop up, the goal is to get a dance to happen, the paper to dance into place. Sometimes it's, sometimes things can't happen that way. Um, so, for instance, if you've Buildings, for instance, are particularly difficult to do that with because they have to form to look what they are. And sometimes you can get some kind of movement and stuff in there, but um, a lot of times they just have to be what they are, and they just spring fully formed. Like like it was a book I did. I did a Taj Mahal. Let me show you this. Okay, Taj Mahal. Now I'm not saying this is not this is this is a this is a good pop up, but there's very little movement in it. It forms and it forms the way it's supposed to. Yes. But yeah. there's no way for things to be flying around and stuff uh, because it has to. It had to get efficiently to its form. Yes. But and also when I want things to dance into place, it has to be done with some kind of logic. Sometimes, in, in order to get to the pop-up, there's ways that there's an elegance in the way that things unfold to get there. But sometimes, it makes no sense for something that's that that is an inanimate object to dance. So sometimes you got to be looking for what's the natural movement in that scene if it was real. Uh, is there an animal? Is there a person? Something moving inside that pop-up. That's when you can really start working on it. Or if you're doing a, I'm doing, I'm working on a book for uh, about national parks right now, mm. and we did so far we've done the Grand Canyon and we've done Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountains has lots and lots of lot wildlife, but in order to for to do a pop up of Smoky Mountains to show why it's called the Smoky Mountains, you have to pull way way back and show some low hills, and you see some hills off in the distance and you see this fog. Make, almost makes islands out of the tops of the, of the peaks. Mm -hmm. And I wanted that to be the main pop-up. So what moves? There's not a lot of movement in that. It forms and stuff, and so there's a little, so there's, I, I made, I actually made wisps of fog move. The fog is what moves. The fog moves, okay? So because I wanted, I didn't want the mountains to dance into place because it just didn't feel right to do that. So I made the fog move into place. And then you could go back in with small booklets, and you have the wildlife is in the smaller pop-ups that are inside there. So you can get close down on something. Because when you're that far away, you can't make an animal because the animal's the size of a flea in that scale. So you, you can't, sometimes you can't get both at the same time. You have to make decisions. If, if I want the grandeur of a scene, and I have to stand so far back, I can't get that intimacy. So I have to go back in with some other thing. I go a smaller interactive pop-up, a booklet or something that has that possibility to like zoom sure. in on something, so that you're, you're you thinking get that. like a like a movie director, movie maker, yeah, 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 and that, yeah, all those mm -hmm. same issues. And you did the same yeah. thing with Harry Potter. Yes. Now Harry Potter is, is you know that Hogwarts scene actually, if there is some movement and dance in there because yes. there's because what's happened here, I had so many buildings. It, it's but look, if I had one building, like for instance this this little guy right here, it forms just like the Taj Mahal did in a way. It's just static. It's the interplay of all these different buildings that allowed that dance to happen because now they're forming elegantly into place. Okay, but if it was just the one building, I wouldn't be able to do that because I can't have that part of the building swinging into the place. It just wouldn't look right. You know, so it all has to coordinate. Has to coordinate. Yes, this little tower right here was the most difficult part of this. Had to get it to stand up all by itself back there. Oh, uh huh. That was a real. It, it was a real problem for a while. It took me a long time to figure out exactly how to approach that. You got it supported by. It's just supported by. Yeah, it's, it's, this That's little piece had to had to be had to be it's like back a in. Buttress. It's a buttress. Yes, and it's how this is one, a prime example of how this piece of paper makes that piece of paper gotcha. move. Well, and, and and of course, and then when they come in here, it took a long time to keep these two spires from banging into each other. What's the exact way to do that? Or at the same time, this little thing right here started banging into this guy. 
So there was a lot of adjustments to make this work and still look like it had to look. That was a real challenge. It's one thing to make up a building or a castle. It's, you can do anything you want. That, build, that's, that turret's not going to work there? Move it! Put it somewhere else. But when you've got a real building or you've got a real image of a building like Taj Mahal or the Hogwarts Castle that you've seen in all these movies, it has to look like that. You can't decide that the tower is going to be over there. <laughs> People already know where, where the tower is. You, you can't do that. So it makes it very difficult. Buildings, I think buildings are the most difficult thing to pop because of that. Because of that. You have to make the building look the way the building is supposed to look like and still make it look, work as a pop-up. And sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes I get a project for a building and I go, I go, there's no way. This, this building is not poppable. Go to plan B. Go Some plan other B. subject. Yeah. You can't, this building cannot be popped as far as I can, uh, I'm concerned. There's, there's no structures in the right places, especially with modern sculpt, uh, uh, modern architecture. There's a lot of things that have hidden, hidden structures and stuff. And but the paper has to have something lifting it. When in reality, for us architecture, it didn't have to have that. There's a thing doing this. It's floating over space. Pop up has to have something up there holding it. Sometimes you get around that because you can put trees and stuff in. The trees become the thing that push it up and stuff. But in a lot of architecture, you can't do that. There aren't any trees right there. You know, 